Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a Dollar Tree haul with you. Um, this is a, today is Wednesday, so I am joining, um, what's the word, hashtag what's the word Wacky Wednesday. It's a collab hosted by Angela from Angela's Hauls and Lifestyle. I'll put her video, uh, her uh, channel here somewhere and also in the description box. Um, it's open to anyone, so if you'd like to join, you can upload any video, any kind of video you want on any Wednesday you want. Um, only thing is, oh, I'll also make sure you, um, uh, 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 <laughs> it's hashtag what, what's the word wacky Wednesday. You include that in your video, and then just wear some wacky attire or wacky accessories, like me. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, if you have not checked out Angela's channel, um, you should go over and do so. She's a sweet, sweet lady. She does all kinds of hauls, uh, product reviews. I just love her to death. She's so sweet. So go over and check her out if you haven't yet. Um, I have a large Dollar Tree haul, so I'm going to get right into it. My headband and my glasses are hitting over here, so <laughs> it's not fitting well. Um, I'm going to get right to the first um, few things I hauled, which is what I'm wearing, actually. I've been looking for this necklace. Well, I've seen the necklace, but I wanted the headband to go with it. And the thing is, I haven't seen, I had not seen, I guess I must have seen it at the beginning of the season, and I never paid attention. Then I saw it on Donna, Donna's channel from Donna's Deals and DIYs, and I said, i got to have that. That's so cool for the... Um, for Christmas so it lights up and if I can find the button somewhere well I'll do it on the necklace that way I can um, it lights up but it also I tied it in the back because it was a little too too long so uh, be just beware see it does that and a smaller um, flashing or longer I don't know <laughs> it's wacky anyway the headband does that too but I can't find the button and it's uh, you don't have to include and you had a, you don't have to put Blah. any batteries uh, it comes with it one of the one of the few things that Dollar Tree has provided batteries you know I heard that the reason they're not providing batteries for most of the stuff this year is because um, if they if they don't provide batteries they could hold on to the stuff and resell it next year where if it has batteries then they have to throw it out if they don't sell it because the batteries will be no good I don't know I just heard that somewhere anyway this is the headband um, it came with the headband and it's cool, it's really cool. So it's ages three plus. And then, oh, the, I didn't have, they have glasses too, but it's, it was too late in the season to find glasses. So I, I got these wacky sunglasses from Dollar Tree last year, I think. So I might have to do this every once in a while because they are kind of dark. And then this is for the necklace, like right now, light up LED necklace, six flashing LED lights. So there's that. Okay, and then I want to show you this. I've been meaning to show you this for like the last three hauls. I got this. I have one of these already on my um, front door wreath, but I wanted to get another one because that one kind of is kind of bowed, I guess, with the weather. So these come in gold and red at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you the. Um, so I'm just I just hung it on my wreath on the front door because it has white and gold and all kinds of ornaments on it. What I did was, I don't like the glitter, so I painted it white with white chalk paint, and voila, no more glitter, and it looks, it goes really well with uh, the stuff on my wreath. I'm going to put it on there for next year. I'm going to leave this one the, the way it is now, but I had it in this bag all this time to show you, and I spaced it out. Of course, what else is new, right? Okay, speaking of things that I've already opened, I got these. I needed to um, put some, I need tissue paper to put in a gift. And wouldn't you know, I buy tissue paper and it's all those pastels, and I have one or two Christmas ones. I mean, I think they have like five or six in a pack at Dollar Tree, the Christmas ones, for $1.25. No. So this one has 35 sheets. I bought this yesterday, but I already needed to use it for $1.25. And just, it's just the white. They have no glitter on them, no nothing, just plain white. So I think this is a much better deal than what? 15 or 10 or whatever, even if they're um, not the Christmas ones. You hardly ever see these many. So I got that. Put that right here. Um, let's see. What else did I get? Oh, I want to show you this just because I'm wearing it. Um, so I did find 
This eyeliner is called Starry Eyeliner Gel, a new formula with rich color and smooth application. So it comes in black, copper, pixie, I think it is, pixie dust, and those are the only three colors I saw in all the stores I went to. They did have the pixie in this color of a uh, box, but they had one in a lighter color, which you'll see in the walkthrough, but it was still the same pixie. Um, so yeah, it looks like they have purple, and that's what I was looking for. So I got the copper, the black I don't, I do the inner rim, but I don't do the outside because it's too harsh. When you get older, I guess you're supposed to use, I don't know, lighter colors, not, but anyway, I got, I think this is the one right here, the copper. I'm not sure, but that purple sure looks nice, doesn't it? Let's see, and then there's the color. And this is not a Dollar Tree. It's made in Taiwan by, distributed by Rich On Ink, Los Angeles. So yeah, so I'm wearing it. What happened was I bought it yesterday and I tried it, but I already had a brown eyeliner, so I just put it over with. Over it today, I put it on by itself. Let's see if I can get it closer. Oh, I don't want to scare you. Ah! <laughs> um, so I put it on by itself, and it wasn't dark that dark. So I put on a brown, kind of a sparkly almost eyeliner over it but you can still see it i'm going to bring you up a little bit closer so i don't know okay i'm going to gently okay so i'm really liking that it stays on it's not going everywhere i used to use the it cosmetics gel eyeliner i like that a lot I just use it to line the rim of my the inner rim of my eyes the waterline and then the out but it dried so quickly. So I, then I used the pencil. I went, I started using their pencil. That just dried. I mean, I would have opened the pencil for like a week and it was started like getting all brittle. And that's not cheap. I think it was $20. So I know I'm rambling, but I'm going to just tell you this. Um, and then I'll tell you about my turtleneck too. Oh, I got so much to say. Sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a long video. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and then I found the All May gel, gel Eyeliner. It's a pencil. It's so nice. I think it costs like 6 or $7 at, at Walmart. I love it. Love, love, love it. I'm like, where were you all my life? It's not very expensive and it stays on. So um, I did have a Timu uh, order. I didn't show it because it was just a few things. I'm still trying to get the right tweezers. I must have ordered like 10 tweezers. And they all like, I don't know. They don't have the right grip. Even if you take your pliers and push them together, I think that's, I don't know. Anyway, I ordered some turtleneck, um, you know, like they used to call them dickies when I was younger. I don't know what they call them now, but it's just this part of the turtleneck and in different colors and they keep your neck warm. I'm a turtleneck person. I've always loved turtlenecks, but as I've gotten older, I have this sagging neck thing and I don't want them too close. So this keeps my neck warm and I got a few different colors. And look at that, you just put it inside your shirt and you can't tell, it looks like you're wearing a turtleneck. I'm loving it, really loving it. And it matches my um, Christmas shirt perfectly. It's a wreath. <laughs> so anyway, enough of that, okay. So yeah, I would recommend this. If you find it, um, like I said, I only found copper, which is the one I'm wearing. There's black and there's pixie dust. The pixie dust is a little lighter than this, so I don't, maybe you can combine it with something else. I don't know. I used to be really savvy on the eye makeup and the technique. Now that I've gotten older, it doesn't work for me. So uh, less is more as I've gotten older, for me. Okay, I know, enough of rambling. Um, okay, baking powder. Double acting baking powder, 8.1 ounces, expires on 9-26-2025. I called my husband when I was at the store and asked him, I knew I had baking powder, I said, tell me when it expires. So he's over there, well, the baking soda, I'm like, no, baking powder. He looks in the fridge to tell me when it expires, because I asked him. After a long thing, he finally figured it out and it expires next year. So I got this because I'll be doing a lot of baking and I don't want to have, be using the uh, expired baking powder. So anyway, that's that. This is not a um, Greenbrier product. I don't know. Uh, distributed by Transnational Foods, LLC, Miami, Florida. Yeah, for $1.25, I mean, baking supplies are not cheap anymore. 
So I got that. Oh, and then I also got a couple of Christmas bags because I have a stash, but then every time I'm looking for one, I never seem to have the right size. Oh, I gotta put my glasses on. My glasses back on, sorry. <laughs> um, so I got a pack of two. These are two pieces, seven by 10 by four inches. They had different, I mean, the styles were picked over pretty well, but I found these. I think that's really pretty. It's got a little bit of glitter on it, so it points that up. Sedia, Seda, and some snowflakes with a little bit of glitter. I don't know if this glitter is on both sides of the bag. Yes, it is, actually. So yeah, these bags have glitter on both sides. So these are nice, and it's a two pack, which is always good. I'm just gonna move my things over this way. And I got, a. this is a two pack um, of gift boxes. They had blue and they had gold and red. 3.75 inches by 3.7, of course, it's a perfect square. So this two pack in here, uh, I think, the other one is 3.4 by 3.4 because one is smaller than the other. So I've seen on Timu where you have those money boxes where they open the box and all the money comes flying out. It's like an explosion box or whatever. And um, I saw on YouTube how to make one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to give some people some $1 bills. When they open the box, it comes exploding out. Um, they have some where you cut the box and then you put like double-sided tape and then you glue your you know, whatever $1 bills to each side of the box, you know, it's like this, and then you cut the box down all the sides. That's just not an exploding one. Then they have another one where you make two holes here, put a rubber band and wind it, put the stuff in and wind it up, and when the person opened the box, whatever you have there, it's supposed to come flying out. So I'm gonna try it, we'll see. I might film it, I'm not sure. If it doesn't come out well. Anyway, I was gonna, I needed two, so. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out here what I wanna get to here. Okay, so I got these Serve Heavy Duty 14 Cups, 16 fluid ounces. These are heavy duty for sure. Uh, my husband usually uses these for a snack. Sometimes he wants to go upstairs and watch TV, and he takes a snack, and he doesn't want to come back down and uh, put the dishes in the dishwasher. So he'll use this and keep it uh, upstairs and then refill it and you know throw it away when it's no good anymore. So these are pretty. Look at that design. They're big and they're sturdy, it says. Uh, heavy duty. So I got those. Uh, I think that the Dollar Tree brand has 16. I'm not sure, but I usually get the Dollar Tree brand. Um, just trying to figure out what all. I might do a taste test. I know I want to do one taste test at least. Okay, let me show you this. I was like, my head dance. <laughs> I was shocked when I saw these stickers. These are Bible laser stickers. i Never seen these at the Dollar Tree. 5.75 inches by 7.5 inches. It's 50 pieces. Now this is probably gonna be a glare. But look at those. It's only one sheet. But look how pretty. I mean, usually I'd have to go to Timu to get stickers like that. I'll see if I can get that glare off. I'll do it like this. Sorry that light is that's really pretty it's only one pack well maybe it's two but there's nothing on the back let's see shall we and I saw this in one store and I'm like I've never seen this before and then today I saw it in another store so um you probably will find them I don't that's one pack yeah it's not two I'm just thinking 50 stickers I guess that is the thing don't you hate when you open these and then doesn't want to come out and get stuck to the actual what's ever inside. Okay, I've been looking for this for a very, very long time. That thing's that <laughs> light is it in the glasses. Maybe I'll just wear them like this. Okay, I've been looking for this for a long time. It's a great sense, oh Christmas tree, pine mist for uh, artificial tree and room. So it's supposed to smell I guess like a Christmas tree. I saw this I on so many other people's channels. I'm like, I'm never gonna find it. And today I saw it in my one Dollar Tree and then um, yesterday I saw it in another Dollar Tree. So I'm like, wow, better late than never, I guess. It's made by, uh, manufactured by Delta Brands Inc. And let's give it a sniff, shall we? The air quality is so bad here, you all. It's like unhealthy for all groups. And I have been suffering, I gotta say, with chest pain and headache and congestion 
but as I spray. <coughs> it smells good, actually. Yeah, you gotta let it linger. Wafting, wafting. <laughs> yeah, it does, it smells a little bit like pine. Oh, I'm glad I got that. Love, love. Okay, I'm, I'm so glad when I get something and it, it works out. Usually, not usually, but a lot of times they're duds and I... Ugh. Okay, and then I did get this. I saw this on other people's channels as well. This is like the uh, Poopery. This glare is not doing well here. Okay, so this is also by Great Sense. It's called Put a Lid on It Pre-Poo Toilet Spray. This one is in sea salt. It's 1.85 fluid ounces. And it's like that, uh, what did I say it was, poopery? I have some of that. It works really well. I had bought some of this kind of stuff from Dollar Tree a while back. It worked pretty good too. Uh, I guess it's based on essential oils, at least poopery is. This is not the same one I bought before. And I can't read it. It says, uh, works by coating the toilet water with a layer that, yeah, that doesn't, okay. I can't see all that, but I was just trying to figure out if it says essential oils because that's how poopery works. But I saw this over here, caution, uh, eye and skin irritant, keep out of reach of children. So I guess essential oils would do that too. I don't know. If you know, comment below. So this is the sea salt. Man, I'm going to have a worse headache with all this spraying, but that's okay. Ooh. That smells nice. Nice. Oh, really nice. Sea salt. Okay, I'm sure you all know how to use poopery. You just spray it before doing your business and the bathroom doesn't get stinky. <laughs> this one here, it's got a little dent in it. I'm like, what the heck? See that dent? Somebody... Anyway, that won't affect it. This one is the Tropical Hibiscus. And I had not seen this, and then today and yesterday, I'm like, oh, brother. It's like the floodgates open all at once in all the stores. I went to three stores yesterday and three stores today. And I was able to get quite a few things both days. I think this might be my last haul video before Christmas. I will have a walkthrough, but I was like, I purposely went again today to see, and there's not much out there. I did find garden stuff. Oh, let me tell you that real quick. Um, they have all the garden stuff coming out. Uh, thermometers, uh, those big old garden, is that what you call them? Yeah, thermometers. Different designs from last year. They have all of the garden tools already. You'll see them in the walkthrough. I didn't buy any because I didn't need them. Okay, this one is the hibiscus, tropical hibiscus. Oh, that smells good too. Ooh, these are nice, guys. I think I'll get some more. I got one for upstairs and one for downstairs. I should have got two. Two for the downstairs bathrooms and one for the upstairs, but I didn't know. Anyway, this is what they look like. If I see them again, I'm going to get them again. Okay, and then I found this is new to me. This is extra tough. I'm already at 18 minutes. I'm sorry, it's going to be a long video. So it's extra tough shipping edition. Um, super clear, transparent, heavy-duty tape, 55 yards, 1.89 by 55 yards. I had never seen this at the Dollar Tree before. It's shipping tape. Probably should have got more. I go through shipping tape like you would not believe. Um, distributed by Click Products, LLC, Edison, New Jersey. It's not a Dollar Tree. I didn't think it would be. So that's pretty nice. I found this in one store in the uh, hardware section where well, all the other tape is, you know, like the, what do you call that, duct tape. Um, and then, well, I'll show you this. I thought this was really cool. Jot transparent sticky notes, um, three by three inches, right here. So I've never seen these. There's only a hundred pieces, but um, I did see these. Where the heck did I see this? Someone's walkthrough, I think. Um, but I've been looking for them for a long time and I hadn't found them till today and I'm just going to take them out and squeeze the noise. I might, I'm already at 19 minutes and i got a lot to go so I might as well just get to it. See it's transparent. 
so you see right through it. This is the sticky note part. That's cool. Let's see, I don't have a pen here. I don't have my dud of a, of a sleuth pen that I bought last week. That was such a dud. I thought that would be like invisible ink and then you shine the light and you get a secret message. I failed to see the purpose of that. I had no clue. So it's by Jot. Okay, I'm gonna put them right back in here because, I don't know, because I am. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, I found some new things. Well, not new, but, well, this was new in the, in the um, what do you call it? The, the Health and Beauty. So this is Mentadent Dual Action Tongue Cleaner. It is a, um, removes germs that cause bad breath, but it's not your average tongue cleaner, and it's by Mentadent. So it looks like it has soft rubber cleaner and a soft bristle for gentle cleaning. That's what it looks like. So you see how it's got bristles and then the back is rubber? I'd never seen that before. I was like, I usually just saw a tongue scraper with the rubber stuff, like, that's pretty cool. So I got one. I didn't know. I just saw something new and I'm like, wow. I was on the hunt for that Wilson. I think it was called the Wilson um, mouth guard. I never found that. I'm still on the hunt for that. I need that bad. My dentist says I grind my teeth and it's expensive to have one made. I had one made years ago, but now my teeth are missing. On the <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Then I got this Guru Nanda Ultimate 2-in-1 Floss Picks. Flosser Plus Interdental Picks. So this is nice. I never get these because it's, to me, it's not a good bargain. Because you only get 40. I think the other ones you get like 60. I'm not sure. But what's good about this is it has like a, this thingy right here. Like a, what do you call that? A soft rubber interdental pick. I like, well, my husband likes those toothpicks that are all sh the straight and are all of all of that like that rubber thingy they used to sell them at Dollar Tree and they don't anymore so um you get them at Walmart but they're a lot more expensive but this I'm thinking that's good because you got that and that so I think I who, I saw this on someone else's channel I don't remember who but that's what made me uh, like think about it when I saw it I'm like I'm gonna get that and try it so yeah it's Guru Nanda this is I thought this was like some off the wall brand that just happened to be in Dollar Tree, but I've seen this brand at um, Walmart. I see it there a lot, actually. Um, okay, I'm gonna probably show you these things. Well, no, let's get to this. This is new to me as well. Elk Tools, chalk sticks and holder. So these are some chalk sticks and then there's a holder to it, 13 pieces. I had not seen that before. So you get your chalk, this is the chalk holder right there. You put your chalk pieces in there and then you could, you know, go to town. But do I need this? I was telling my husband, do I need this? No, I don't need this, but it's so nifty. Now I'm showing my age with the nifty. It was nifty. <laughs> I don't know. I just liked it. So it's got colored chalk. I'm always looking for chalk. I buy chalk and then when I want to use those blah, I want to use those Dollar Tree chalk boards, you know, I never have any chalk. So I'm going to put this somewhere, hopefully where I can find it. That's so cool. Okay, there's that. And then I found this. It's uh, B Pure, B Color Makeup Correcting Gel Pen infused with moisturizing vitamin E. Instantly corrects makeup mistakes. So I have a Revlon one. I have a couple of them, but they're old. Then I bought the, uh, oh, I don't know which one. I think it was, oh, it's not flower. It was the other one they had, and it, it was like a brush. I went to use that today. That thing's dried out. I, ha I think I used it twice, so I'm going to give this one a shot. And um, let's see. I hope it's just like a, I think I saw it on somebody else's channel. I think it was Laura from LCR and more. I think she hauled it. I don't know if she opened it, but somebody did open it. And it wasn't a brush. Oh, cool. Okay, that looks good. So, uh, I don't know. 
It, should, it looks like it's gel or something. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. All I can smell is my hand cream from... Oh, I got to say this too. Um, that haul that I shared with you from last week, that combined haul, the Bath and Body Works stuff is really, really nice. The hand cream, I love it. It's so moisturizing. That's what I'm wearing right now. It smells so good. And the lip, um, the, it, it's not a lip balm. I think it's a lip gloss or a lip something. It was clear. Anyway, it was really, really, really nice. I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying that so much. I wish I'd, I would have got more. I just stumbled into the Bath and Body Works because my husband wanted to get warm. And he said, let's go into this store. And it was Bath and Body Works. And they were having a one-day sale. I didn't know. I come home and I looked it up online. Yeah, you, um, you can order online, but you have to pick up in a store. I would have got more stuff because it was like a dollar, two dollar, and three dollars. That was good stuff. And I'm rambling again, I'm so sorry. Okay, I found these magnetic alphabet pieces. Um, they come in black and white. So I, these are large, these particular ones. They come in black and it tell you, tells you how many, yeah, I'm showing you that side, how many pieces you get of each one. These are, these are the big ones. And then they also come in the mini size. Now the mini size comes in black and white from what I saw at the stores. So again, you get this 68, but it's the mini size. It tells you how many you get, and I'm sure you can see it in there. See the mini ones? And then they also, the minis come in white in my stores too. I didn't see the large ones. I looked everywhere for the larger ones. These are nice. Like you can write someone a message on the fridge. <laughs> Or if you try, if uh, kids are learning to, um, you know, spell and whatnot, this would be good on one of those. Dollar Tree has those like magnetic boards. You know, you can help. that would be really good. This was in the teaching tree section of my Dollar Tree. That's how I found it. So yeah, these are nice. These big ones are really big. Um, I'm thinking they're probably a couple of inches at least. So yeah. I got two black, one bit, one large and one mini, and then I got a small, a white mini. So those were really nice. Those were new to me. Um, I've also been looking for this because this reminds me of the Portuguese um, hot pepper sauce we, my mom and my family used to make. I no longer have it because I haven't made it. I don't make it in, at all. This is the Wildfire Shada, Shada hot pepper sauce. Uh, proud purveyors of provisions of the Mediterranean soil and sun. Yummo, I think, if this is like the one I used to have, it was very salty, but you put it in like any kind of food to give it flavor and heat. Um, this is, this is like a, what, 10 ounce? And I only found this in one of my stores just earlier today. So um, I was thrilled, thrilled to find it. So I don't know, uh, let me look at the sodium, sodium 40. So it doesn't seem to be that salty. I don't know. It's hot red peppers, uh, vinegar, salt, processed at the facility that has nuts. So anyway, I'm going to give that a shot. If the Portuguese one, you could put in anything just to jazz it up and give it some spice. I'm sure you could do this too. And this is what kind of peppers? Hot pepper sauce? It doesn't say. that. Uh, maybe that's a shada, 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 shada. Maybe that's a pepper. I have no idea. And this is made by... Um, Packed for wild, wild fare. Oh, so that's the thing. Um, New York, New York. Product of Italy. Ooh, ooh, refrigerate after opening. Am I showing you the right part? Anyway, I figured I'd give that a shot. It looked really good, and I've been on the hunt for that for so long. And then last week I bought one of these. I thought I did, but I don't know where it went. My light's still on can't tell. <laughs> I don't know where it went, so I got a different one this week. These are just like for stocking stuff, for magnetic quick release clip light. They have, I show them in my walkthrough, they have all different designs. So this one is going to be a um, ooh, stocking stuffer. Oh boy, they got it like kind of. So I don't know how this one turned it on. Oh, it looks like it's seen better days, y'all. So 
Okay, well, I'll figure it out. I don't, my video is going long. It's already 30 minutes. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to hurry, but I got so many things. Okay, well, we'll just put that there. <laughs> um, I want to make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, okay. Then I found, I saw people hauling so many different things from this, uh, what is this place called? Sweet Shop. Oh my goodness. I mean, they had, I found the blue powdered sugar, the white powdered sugar, and the black sugar cookies. They also have chocolate, brown chocolate, artificially flavored powdered sugar. And when I went back the other day to the store, they had nothing. Today I found only this. I mean, I've seen like uh, chocolate, something else. It wasn't the, the sugar cookies. That I think it was the sugar, someone else hauling all kinds of stuff. This is all I was able to find. So yeah, and this is like, what, 16 ounces. I'm gonna be making lots and lots of frosting <laughs> with this. So cool, really cool. Uh, Best Buy date is uh, March 2026. No, BB March 2026, yeah. So that was nice to find. And then I found, I saw so many people hauling these. The Dunkin' Chocolates Donut Flavored Filled Chocolates, the jelly donut, you get two. White chocolate shell with layers of raspberry flavored cream jelly. Oh, that looks so good, you guys. It's a very, I thought this would be bigger. It's very small. It's a very small, let me just tell you how small it is. It's about, the package is about six inches wide and two inches so it's not very big at all i thought it would be like a huge well a bigger thing it looks bigger when others were hauling it but i think that's going to taste really good so yeah best buy uh september what? oh 2024 okay so there's that i'm not going to try that um and then i found the kit kat that everybody's raving about the chocolate frosted donut kit kat this is going to be a stocking stuffer someone in my family Lots of Kit Kats. Me, not a fan, but that's okay. Uh, Best Buy 12, what? Oh, 24. I keep confusing 24 and 23. I don't. I was making meatloaf the other day and I had my my um, breadcrumbs were expiring in 2024. And I started throwing them all out. I'm like, they, they expired in November. They expired November 2024. And I was thinking it was 2023. And I'm like, I'm such an idiot, you guys. Don't get old for the birds <laughs> so yeah that looks really good and then the last thing I hold I want to make sure there's nothing else is this controversial pink sauce and it does say on here um, as seen on TikTok and Instagram 13 ounces and it says I don't know there's a Best Buy date on here somewhere I saw it I don't know what it is oh here it is 9-27-2024 and it says you could it's supposed to be pink but most of it is not this one has a little pink on the bottom i don't know if you can see that i'm taking these glasses off <laughs> sorry angela it's wacky but i can't see <laughs> oh sorry about that noise that's my laundry washing machine anyway uh it says from TikTok to table shock your taste buds with flavor and thrill taste chef pies or peas famous sweet and tangy sauce made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices are you ready to try the pink sauce that became an overnight internet sensation and it did say on here where to put it i think i mean where you can use it on pink sauce to any dish but it's specially tasty paired with chicken wings sandwiches hamburgers salads whatever yada yada so I'm gonna give it a taste test uh, my sweet friend Laura from LCR and more I did a, a, a short on it and she's like did you try that yet it's like no but I'm gonna I'll give it a taste test um, when I when I do my video you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause I'm gonna get this off and then I will be back cuz I don't want to be here all day just a second okay I'm back what if I should put my glasses on just in case I don't like it? <laughs> What's that gonna? I don't know. You won't be able to see. You won't be able to see my eyes. Okay, so I opened it. I gotta. Sh I'm gonna shake it. Okay, I'm sorry. This video is so long, you guys. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, oh okay. 
Well, I got a spoon so I could pour it on there, but since it's on this little thing here, I'm just gonna lick it off. There we go. It's spicy. It's kind of sweet. It's good. If you don't like spice, you won't like this. It's, it's quite spicy. Look at the spoon I'm using. Came from Timu, her coffee. Oh, you probably can't see that, but I can see where that would be. This would be good, like, I think somebody said it's like ranch, so it does, it would be good on a salad, a sauce, a dipping sauce on a burger. I like it. I like it a lot. It's got a tang. It's spicy. It reminds me a lot of ranch, but a sweeter ranch. Gluten-free and vegan. Well, that's good. Supposedly, it was under contract only to be sold at Walmart, but I guess maybe it didn't work out for Walmart. You know, it's at the Dollar Tree. I heard it sold for $8 at Walmart. I don't know for sure. That's what I saw. I read somewhere. So Anyway, that's the end of my video. I apologize for it to be being so long get my glasses back but thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a very very merry christmas happy healthy and safe i will be uploading a walkthrough um uh probably tomorrow or the day after but don't forget um if you want to uh, join in this open collab it's hashtag what's the word wacky wednesday hosted by angela at angela's um halls and lifestyle so you can um go over to her channel check her out and then um if you do join make sure that you tag her in the video so she can come over and see what's your your wacky video <laughs> um thank you again so much i appreciate you all so very much i'm sorry this video was so long um if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing if you're a current subscriber i appreciate you so much appreciate all the love and support you show my channel um merry christmas to you all and um, until next time, be well and be blessed.